What's up? We did it. How y'all been doing? Pimpin. Hey man, it's been an all-star weekend. Uh, of course, it's been tributes to Kobe Bryant. You know what I mean? They did a good job at the basketball game. I like the new format. That was cool. You know. All in all, man, that was my first time in a long ass time that I literally sat and watched the events that they had for the um, NBA All-Star Weekend 2020. Um, I didn't think Kawhi was the MVP. I think that Chris Powell orchestrated that whole little hit. And you know what I mean? Chris Powell should have been the MVP of the game because he literally was in that group that made them come back. And y'all remember when LeBron and them came back in the game? They only picked, they only, they only, it, it was only four players LeBron, AD, Harden, and Kawhi. They didn't get Luka back off the bench. Chris Powell stayed in the game. And he was in that last starting five. Why? Because he was the Patreon who pushed this shit. So, big ups to, I can't even remember who the coach for uh, over there was. Frank Vogel. Yeah, yeah, big ups to Frank Vogel for leaving Chris Powell in and not going back to his regular starting five. And letting Chris Powell do what he does best. I ain't gonna lie, I have never been the biggest Chris Powell fan. Now, I'm a Chris Powell fan, don't get me wrong. But now, as of this year, I can honestly say, as of this year, now I'm like, okay, if I have a championship team, if I need a point guard, fourth quarter, we down. Chris Powell gonna be my point guard. I'm sorry. I'm not getting Kyrie. I don't want Donovan Mitchell. I don't want Luka. I, I want Chris Powell. And man, that guy can ball, man. Real talk, man. Chris Powell is a real general of the floor. You know what I mean? And I think that I let a lot of I let a lot of Chris Powell get kind of get past me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, don't get me wrong. I've always been a, 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 a fan of Chris Powell since he was in Wake Forest. And he was on the bench crying because he couldn't beat Duke. And the Cameron Indoor uh, students from Duke had him crying on the bench. Like, I remember that. Yeah, Chris Powell, I remember when they made you cry, when the student section made you cry. But the next time you saw Duke... I want to say you put about 40 on that. <laughs> so, real talk. But other than that, man, I'm just checking in with y'all. It's a rainy day, but hey, man. So what? We woke up. We living. We breathing. We got another day to make another dollar to make your day better, man. You know what I'm saying? Prayers to whoever you pray to. Kiss your kids. Call people, tell them you love them. You dig what I'm saying? Because life's too short. I'm just checking in with y'all. I really didn't have much to say. I just want to talk about the All Star Weekend. And uh, oh yeah, I'm, let me let me let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. What's up with this fake ass YouTube beef y'all got? Like, this is the fakest shit I ever seen. Like, bro, y'all are in whole totally different parts of the fucking world. Who's really gonna pull up on somebody? Like, really, bro? Like, this shit is so fucking fake to me, man. Like, I thought I was getting away from this shit. But I see that controversy sales beef sales people gonna watch it they're gonna view it they just like beef you know what i'm saying like an inspirational video will take six years for it to get a million views but let some happen with some beef this shit will have a million views in six weeks it's just how life operated but uh i ain't gonna hold y'all too long you know what i'm saying how everybody been doing 
You know what I mean? I want y'all to come in now and put your name so I can subscribe to YouTube. We gonna subscribe for a subscribe. You know what I mean? A sub for a sub. And that's how we gonna do this. We gonna show everybody love. We gonna all show each other love. We gonna all watch each other videos. And you know what I'm saying? Get to know each other as best as we can, man. You know? Small world, you know? And I just want everybody to be positive and stay on top of that game, man, you know, and for my uh younger um subscribers, man, who probably still in school or whatever, man, school is very important, you, you guys are not probably think that, you, you know how grown people say, is he's gonna be gone so fast, it is. Right now, you're thinking, well, I'm only in the third grade, but you're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to be in the seventh grade. And then you're going to wake up the next day and you're going to be in the tenth grade. And now, now you're old enough to work a job. So before you know it, right now, you're probably thinking, like, oh, I got time, but I'm telling you, by the by time tomorrow comes, it'll be time for y'all to start working. So y'all listen to y'all parents. Respect your parents, man. Stay in school. Stay in school. Get an education. Get you a degree where they cannot take this from you. They can never take your education away from you. Ever. Ever. Education should be your number one priority. If you are still in school and you're watching this, education should be your number one priority. Point blank, period. I right, catch up with y'all later. It's been the Robin Nice Show. See you later. Hey, hey.